Hello, I am the sister of Ryan Wolf, and this is for Ryan and Adam. I would like to start with a poem called Look For Me in Rainbows. Time for me to go now, I won't say goodbye. Look for me in rainbows way up in the sky. In the morning sunrise, when all the world is new, just look for me and love me as you know I loved you. Time for me to leave you, I won't say goodbye. Look for me in rainbows high up in the sky. In the evening sunset, when all the world is through, just look for me and love me and I'll be close to you. It won't be forever, the day will come and then my loving arms will hold you when we meet again. Time for us to part now, we won't say goodbye. Look for me in rainbows shining in the sky. Every waking moment and all your whole life through, just look for me and love me as you know I loved you. Just wish me to be near you and I'll be there with you. Anyone who knew Adam and Ryan knows that they loved each other deeply. Some like myself would say they were soulmates and perfect for each other. Their love was silly and serious, energetic yet slow, strong, consistent, and so pure. I believe that God knew Adam's day to leave us would come too soon, so he sent Adam a really special person. He sent her through the woods one night between our cabin and his home, fully knowing that they would fall in love and it was meant to be. God knew putting those two together was worth the time that they would have. It didn't take long once Adam and Ryan met for them to fall in love or for Adam's sauna to catch fire on the night they met. Who knew the fire department would interrupt Adam and Ryan realizing they had finally met the right person. One year, Ryan and Adam dressed up as the Incredibles for Halloween, which was very fitting for them when you think about the love they had for each other and the life they lived together. They had an incredible love that rubbed off on everyone around them, and there were many incredible things they experienced together, like living all around the world, traveling to beautiful destinations, falling in love, and loving the life that they were building together. You two were incredible. On our way to get Ryan from the airport, the song Lover by Taylor Swift was playing on the radio. For those who don't know, Adam and Ryan were Swifties, whether Adam would admit that or not. This brought me back to riding in Adam's Jeep with Ryan and Adam last summer. They shared a love for music and occasionally Adam would sing for us. I think sometimes Adam knew the words better than Ryan and may have sounded better too. When we hear Taylor Swift, or Olivia Rodrigo on the radio, we will see for you, just like you Adam brought a beautiful light to every moment spent with him. We will all miss Adam's smile and laugh, but what I will miss the most is seeing how happy Ryan was with Adam. I have truly never seen her happier than when she was with him, and I know that Adam loved Ryan so much, and they both plan to spend the rest of their life with each other. You, it's inconceivable that I'm even here right now. When I was asked if I was willing to speak, I was honored and at the same time reluctant because I didn't know if I would be able to get through it. After a few days of thought and pondering, I kept hearing the same voice, and it was Adam. Wow, Grant, I can't believe you wouldn't even speak for me. You're unbelievable. Then following it up with that huge smile, waiting for my rebuttal. I also thought to myself, there is no one that would love to see me more uncomfortable, nervous, tripping all over myself in such a large group than Adam. This was Adam in my relationship for the last 20 plus years. I would describe Adam as a joyful grump. He was the best at baiting you into sarcastic banner. With a quick, quick wit, you couldn't help but share in his laughter at your expense. I can remember a handful of years ago, we golfed in a tournament here in Hibbing. Myself, Adam, Ryan Hannigman. I made the mistake of telling Adam not to worry. I was really tight from 150 yards out, and I could carry us there. 
Needless to say, I did not fulfill that expectation I set. And for the remaining years of golf, Adam reminded me and many others just how pathetic of a showing I had. Every time we golfed from thereafter, if I had a bad drive, he said, don't worry, Grant, you're tight from 150. No matter how long it had been since seeing each other, we could start our banner right where we left off. A few years ago at Avery and Fiona Peterson's wedding, I was looking forward to going and seeing Adam and many others that I knew would be there as those are the events that we can see each other as, you know, life happens. I got to the wedding and got situated and I felt my phone go off. It was Adam. I opened the message and it read, in Adam's voice, a polo shirt grant to a wedding? You and Jammer. It's unbelievable. I welcome you guys back on here. If you're new, consider <clears throat> subscribing, liking, and also share this video. Now, now after uh, the tragic passing on of uh, the ice hockey player, uh, that is Adam Johnson, <clears throat> a funeral plans um, were already in seed a few days after he passed on. And of course, uh, in Hibbing, Minnesota, that's where the funeral was arranged. <clears throat> Johnson was a hometown hockey hero before playing for Duluth and, of course, later playing for the NHL. Um, he passed on after um, actually he collided with a team, I mean, an, uh, an opposition team member, which resulted into <clears throat> that huge injury. He, he got and eventually resulting into his passing on. He was playing in the United Kingdom for the Nottingham Panthers at the time and his family uh, watched his final moments li on a live stream of the game that was in Minnesota. So the funeral has been arranged. It, <clears throat> it was really emotional, very, very intense. And according to the obituary that actually was posted on Thursday, Johnson uh, had to be laid to rest on Monday in a public ceremony at the Hibbing Memorial Arena. A private ceremony was actually held the day before uh, for the family and of course uh, the public was also invited to come in on Monday at around 1.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. <clears throat> the ceremony actually began a little bit early at around 3, th uh, a little bit late at around 3.30 p.m. but since his death last week so many tributes have been coming in worldwide for johnson a massive memorial uh, like you saw at the beginning of this video was actually created and <clears throat> very many people had to bring in their flowers outside the arena that was in sheffield where he was actually killed from um it's been really very emotional like i've told you and the family are going through a very tough time after the passing on of this um, 28 year old player that is Adam Robert Johnson. He was an American professional ice hockey forward and he played close to 13 games in the National Hockey League with Pittsburgh.